What's up, y'all? What's up, Libra, 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 Libra? Happy Thursday, Libra. I hope you are doing well. What's going on, Sugar Snaps? <laughs> What's up, Libra Collective, Libra Gang, Libra Tribe, Libra Fam? Welcome back, those of you that's returning, and welcome if you are new and you tap it in for the first time. I'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me. Thank you guys for all the likes, the comments, the shares, subscribes, donations. I greatly appreciate it all, Libra. I see it all. I want you to know that I'm super appreciative of everything, Libra. Thank you so much. What's going on, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up, Libra? I hope you have been having a good week so far. All right. I hope your week has been going good, Libra. All right. We're about to get into the energy, see what messages spirit has for y'all. What's up, Libra, 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 Libra? Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. This is for Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and North Node Libra placements. Libra, baby. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node Libra. Cross watches for Libra. I know y'all in here. What's up with y'all? The roles are interchangeable, you guys. Flip and bounce the roles as you see fit to your personal situations, okay? Again, take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, your flow. Father God, God, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Libras out there? My beautiful and handsome Libras out there. Give me a message for Libra today. What is it that they need to know? Allow me to see things clearly. Please block out any negative energies wanting to interfere with the accuracy of this message. Cover and show me as I channel this energy. Please and thank you. Holy Spirit, what message do you have for the Libras? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no Libra. Somebody here lives in Arizona. Something significant about Arizona. I'm hearing that song. It's called Arizona. It's by um, Kings of Leon. I'm hearing a beat. Um, so, yeah, somebody here could live in Arizona. Somebody here could be a Kings of Leon fan. I love them. I think they're so hot. <laughs> I think Caleb Follower is so hot. <laughs> All right, so somebody here may be a Kings of Leon fan. Somebody here may like Caleb Follower, but he's so hot. <laughs> but I'm hearing that song, Arizona. All right, so some of you guys definitely could be from Arizona or you could be dealing with someone from Arizona. Somebody here could be traveling to Arizona. Something significant about Arizona. All right, Libra. Let's get two more shuffles for you, Libra. I know I'm shuffling a lot. Somebody here wants you to be up in your head, okay? Somebody here wants you to second guess your intuition. Somebody here also feels like you are a gatekeeper, okay? Somebody here also could have found out that you are a gatekeeper. Somebody here also feels like um, you know their secrets and they want you to keep their secrets, okay? They don't want you to tell their secrets, okay? I won't tell your secrets. Your secrets are safe with me. I will keep. Your secrets Just think of me as the pages in your diary Libra, somebody feels like you're their diary Somebody here feels like you're a gatekeeper They feel like you have their secrets They want you to keep them Okay, Libra, please don't tell my secrets So Libra, you could know something about somebody They know that you know And they said, shut the fuck up, alright? Don't say shit <laughs> Alright, Libra, what's going on? Temperance, okay? Temperance energy. We got Sagittarius at the top of the deck. We got Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. But somebody here feels like, you know, you, you are their home, okay? Happy home. Somebody here could be feeling deeply connected to you, okay? Or somebody wants to be deeply connected to you. But whoever this is, they haven't healed. This person is hot in the fact that they haven't healed, Okay? Like, that's one of their secrets, the fact that they asked this haven't healed. But this person wants an equal give and take partnership with you. Some of you could be in a romantic connection already. You could be connected to a Virgo. Or you could have strong Virgo in your chart. But I feel like you got good news coming in, Libra, Six of Wands. 
they could also be a Virgo coming in to give you some sort of good news. But Libra, you know the truth or there's some sort of truth that's being spoken. There's some sort of truth that's being given to you. But this is in matters of the heart, okay? I feel like this is in regards to the um this is in regards to matters of the heart okay your love life in some way shape or form um but i definitely feel like you um have a lot of passion and romance in your life right now so that's beautiful libra okay or this is what's about to happen for some of you guys somebody here under judgment though i cut the deck as soon as i cut the deck the judgment was in reverse we'll see if that falls back y'all we see what that's about but somebody under judgment libra you could also have Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, or Pisces placements. Or you could be dealing with any of those signs. Somebody with that in their chart. Libra. I will keep your secrets. Some of you could be on the cusp. You could be a third deacon, Libra is what I just heard. Some of you could be on the cusp of Libra Scorpio. Okay, there's an earth sign that's an empress in the reverse here. All right, so there's a karmic feminine energy. This person could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. They could be another Libra like you, okay? But there's an Empress in the reverse here. This person is feeling very imbalanced during this time, okay? This is somebody that you need to separate from, okay? This person may be wanting to hang out with you. Yeah, strong Taurus energy. This person is out of control, okay? This person is definitely another Libra, a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy emphasis on the Taurus, Okay, but somebody here is a karmic, okay? They're a karmic. Uh, this could even be a mother figure for some of you. Or this could be a woman in your family. This could be a woman that has children here. Um, she's not the best mother, though. Whoever this is, she's not the best mother. This person wants you to go... This, this person wants you to stay stuck in some way, Libra. But with this cancer energy, with the chariot, that's giving me the chariot. You have some sort of forward movement. Your road is open. Your pathway is clear. Whoever this mother figure is, this um, karmic woman, this empress in the reverse, she also showing up as the high priestess in the reverse. This person doesn't want you to go in a new direction. This person is abusing their power and authority in some way behind the scenes. This is somebody that's very unstable and they may be wanting you to take care of them or to help them out in some way. This person doesn't want you to spread your wings and fly away and be without them, okay? This person is also very restless, okay? They're restless because you're independent. They're restless because you're moving forward freely. They're restless because you know the truth about them or you're seeing the truth about a situation. This is causing a lot of restlessness with this person, okay? This Empress in the reverse is pissed. Somebody here could be a Sagittarius as well, okay? But strong Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus energy here. Could be Virgo, Capricorn as well, and Scorpio. These people are restless right now. Somebody here could have Sagittarius or Scorpio in their chart. But whoever this is, they're restless, okay? They're restless. They're, they're unsettled. Somebody here could be an Aries as well. Somebody here could have Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra in their chart. This person is mad because you trust your intuition. You trusting your intuition, Libra. You moving forward. You being happy in life. You choosing happiness. You putting yourself first. You prioritizing yourself. This is making somebody feel like they're going through a towel moment. The fact that you trust your intuition is causing some sort of... Um, it's like disrupting someone's life. Like they're, they're not at peace because you're intuitive. They're not at peace because you trust your intuition. They're not at peace because you're moving forward. They're not at peace. <laughs> like... These people are not at peace. Like these people are emotionally manipulative, but they're also angry because they can't emotionally manipulate you. Somebody here was doing heavy spell work on you and it's backfiring. Okay. Somebody here is very manipulative, but it's backfiring. It's backfiring on this Scorpio, this, this Aries, this Sagittarius, this, uh, this other Libra, this Taurus, whoever these people are, it's all backfiring on them. These people want you to be fearful. Okay. Somebody here is projecting fear onto you. They want you to be scared to go in a new direction. Somebody here is very unhappy because they don't want you to close out a cycle with them. They don't want you to move forward in your life without them. Somebody here could also be a Leo. But Libra, you're getting justice in a situation. All right, we have justice in the upright. Your good karma, your justice is here and someone's really upset about that. Libra, you could also have Taurus in your chart or Gemini or you could be connected to a Taurus or a Gemini. Okay, some of you, your twin flame or your soulmate is a Taurus or a Gemini. Um, they could also be a Capricorn or a Sag. All right, but you could also have those signs going against you. So just take it as it resonates. But somebody here is definitely under judgment and they're getting karma. Somebody here that wanted you to see them as, their, as your spiritual partner is under karma. So you got to fall 
false twin that's under karma during this time. This person could be falling ill, okay? Something's going on with someone's health, okay? This person could be a Leo, an Aries, a, um, a Sagittarius, a Gemini, a Scorpio, another Libra, okay? But whoever this is, they're a false twin, okay? This is somebody that tried to sacrifice y'all, but it didn't work. And this person knows that you don't trust them, and they under they under heavy judgment during this time. This person is experiencing a lot of bad karma, or they're about to. This person doesn't feel safe. They're nervous. They want to come back towards you, but they know that you see them clearly, okay? They know that you see them clearly. Somebody is upset because you've released codependency. Somebody is mad because they thought that you were still codependent. There's also another Libra that's in your energy or trying to be in your energy. This person is upset because they're codependent and you're not. This is somebody that wants to latch on to you energetically. So this is somebody that could be trying to hang out with you, call you, text you. This is also somebody that could be trying to astral project to you in a dream state. Okay. So you got people that's trying to feed off of your energy, trying to latch on to you because you're moving forward without them. And you see the truth about them and know they can't come with you and know you don't want to deal with them. Okay. And they're mad about that. You also got a false twin. That's getting some sort of karma. This person is under heavy judgment as well. They want to hold on to you. They want you to feel some sort of nostalgic feelings, okay? So this person wants you to be like missing them, reminiscing about them. Somebody here wants you to fantasize about them. Whoever this is that I'm picking up on, this person fantasizes about you a lot, okay? I had gave a message the other night about somebody masturbating uh, to some of you uh, empresses out there, okay? This is giving me the same energy. Like somebody here is sexually fantasizing about you guys and they could be pleasuring themselves to like photos and pictures and the thought of you, the idea of you. This is somebody that is trying to um, connect to your lower chakras and also trying to attach themselves to you, okay? This is somebody that's very codependent on your energy and they don't want to let go. This person could also be projecting that sexual energy to you to make you desire them in some way so that when they come back around, boom, bada, bing, bada, boom, their gas, light, and tactics could work and they in there like swimwear. Libra, do not be fooled, okay? Do not be fooled, Libra. This is not a test. This is a warning, all right. I won't tell your secrets. Your secrets are safe with me. It's not working, and they're upset because it's not working. Okay, so the sex magic, yeah, it's not working. <laughs> oh, it's not working. Ace of Wands reverse, Four of Wands reverse, the Magician reverse, and the Four of Wands in reverse. Somebody knows that they can't gaslight you. Somebody knows that some sort of spell work that they do on you keeps um keeps backfiring. Somebody here knows that you're still at peace. Somebody here knows that everything that they send to you, everything that they try to do, um, them trying to connect to you deeply, them trying to penetrate your energetic field, it's all being blocked. It's all being stopped. It's all backfiring. Like somebody here is mad about this because they really, 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 really trying to hold on. This is somebody that is desperate at this point. Uh, Libra, I wouldn't even be surprised if somebody here tried to like pay you to sleep with them. But I feel like y'all don't get down like that. But somebody here is just really thirsty, okay? It's like Ashy Larry type of energy. Y'all know who Ashy Larry is from um, Dave Chappelle. Okay, Chappelle show, Chappelle show. I'm, I'm seeing Ashy Larry like this person is a fiend. It's like they're scratching their neck and like, oh, I just need another hit, please. Like, outside your house, scratching their neck, like, I just need a, another hit, okay? Like, on some real fiend type shit. Like, this person's a fiend for your energy, all right? Yeah, this person is stressed out. This person's also stressed out about you receiving love, okay? So, if you single, this person feels like the cycle definitely closed out with them. And you could be receiving a new lover, okay? You could be going into a spiritual union with somebody. They don't like this. They want to come in, sneak, and block it, okay? They want to, they're want they very sneaky. They're very codependent. They're very unhappy. Seven of swords to the nine of cups in the reverse, okay? Like, this is somebody here that's trying to send you a message. They're a false person. This person could also be trying to send you subliminals. Like I said, somebody here is trying to... Astra project to you in a, in a dream state. Somebody here could also be trying to have sex with you in your dreams, okay? <laughs> like, they're trying to sleep with you in your dreams. So, be mindful of people just wanting to, like, have sex with you. Be mindful of, like, sex dreams during this time. Cleanse that energy out. Yeah, this is what somebody is doing. This is the magic that they're doing. This is the spell work that they're doing. Astra projecting to you in a dream state, trying to sleep with you 
and, and just do shit, you know. Libra, if you feeling tired, call your energy back to you, okay? Take a shower, cleanse yourself, cleanse your space, cleanse your home, cleanse your body, okay? Somebody needs to do a full body cleanse. Something you need to do like a yoni steam or get some yoni pearls as well. Especially if you know who this is and you actually have been physical with them in the most recent past cleanse yourself and if you had a dream about this person you need to cleanse yourself but this is something that somebody's trying to do this person is showing up as the king of swords reverse in the moon card and they also showing up as the emperor in the reverse okay this is somebody that's trying to find a way back i'm hearing trying to find my way back way back to you baby this person is trying to find a way back to you okay somebody is also trying to attack your throat chakra all right, so some of you, you know, you may be having like a little cough or maybe you feel like you have a sore throat or something like that. Uh, you need to return that energy. Return that shit to sender. Do a return to sender, okay? Make sure that you are filling up on your water, staying hydrated, drinking your herbal teas, not too much sugar, Libra, not too much sugar. Some of you also need to fast during this time. I know I've been fasting, okay, Libra? Like it's going to help you heal your body, heal your gut. Some of you need to focus on your gut health as well. Somebody has been trying to cause illness for you and attack your health, okay? But whoever this emperor in the reverse is, this king of swords reverse, this is the person that we're talking about. This is the main culprit here, okay? This person is upset because you don't want nothing to do with them, okay? This person feels like you don't want anything to do with them. This is somebody from your past that you could have been married to or in a relation. You could have been married to this person, in a relationship with this person, or you could have had like some sort of encounters some sort of situation ship or whatever however you want to call it but you had something with this person in the past and you no longer do and they don't know how to they don't know how to you know handle that this is somebody that wants to come back around this person could have been okay with not having you around like this is something that probably didn't really bother them that much because they were still able to be in your energy but now that they are being completely removed um from your energetic field this person is losing their mind, okay? Like, they're losing it right now because they no longer feel your energy. Yeah, them trying to connect to you deeply energetically is an injustice. There we have you, Libra, justice in the reverse. Some of you could have been dealing with another Libra. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Pisces, an Aquarius, somebody with that in their chart, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a Leo as well as what I just heard. Or a Scorpio. This person has a third party as well. This could have been a reason why things didn't work out between you two because they had a third party. Maybe you disconnected from this person once you found out about a third party. Okay. Yeah, this person also is still connected to a third party. All right. And so they feel like they're missing out on an opportunity to be with you. They feel like you're the one that's getting away from them or you're the one that has gotten away. There could also be a third party that's very upset during this time. OK, Libra, here you are. You're showing up as the Empress. What's up, Empress? OK, this Sagittarius, this Aries, this Pisces, this Aquarius, this other Libra, whoever these, whoever this person is for you. This is somebody that wants to come back around. Five of Pentacles in the reverse here. The love is reverse. But you made a choice to disconnect from this person, Libra. And I feel like you stand in front and your decision to disconnect from them. They're showing up as the emperor in the reverse. You're showing up as the empress in the upright. You two have no business dealing with one another, and they know that. Okay, this is not your person, and they're mad that you know that. This person could be trying to do a love spell on you during this time as well, but this person wants you to see them as someone that they're not. They want you to view them as the emperor in the upright, but they're not. There could also be another Libra, a Sagittarius, a Gemini, or a Pisces that's doing some sort of spell work on this person, or they're doing spell work on you, okay? It's not working on you. It's not working at all. Yeah, it keeps getting blocked here is what I'm seeing. You're too protected. Somebody here is very manipulative, though. Magician of reverse. Yeah, somebody here is very manipulative. Somebody here doesn't want you to accept an offer from your real twin, okay? So it's like your real twin wants to come in and give you an offer. Two of Cups here said Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here that's your real twin wants to, you know, pair up with you. Equal give and take partnership, Ace of Pentacles. They want to come in and give you an offer. But you have a false twin here that is upset, that's working behind the scenes with a karmic woman as well that's upset. Because they don't want you two to come together. These people are actually worried. Okay, so your twin could have stopped talking to a karmic woman and Libra, you could have start, stopped talking to a karmic masculine and they're both worried. Okay, these people are talking shit, they're mad, they're worried, 
they're unhappy it's a lot of negative energy surrounding them somebody here feels haunted their home is in disarray whether that be is messy or it's just the energy in there is very dark it's very heavy and somebody here is stressed out they're not sleeping well somebody here is panicking ten of cups in the reverse queen of swords reverse and the nine of swords somebody here is losing their shit right now okay because some shit is backfiring the tables have turned i can't make it up judgment in the reverse Somebody here is definitely under judgment. The judgment came out in the reverse twice. Somebody here is losing their shit. They're worried that you're moving forward in your life and you're going to actually be with the person that you're destined to be with. They've been working really hard behind the scenes to make sure that this didn't happen. Somebody here is unhappy right now. It could be a Leo. Somebody here is mad because they couldn't cause endings for you. Somebody here could be an Aries, a Leo. These people are upset because they couldn't cause endings for you. They couldn't control your life. Somebody here wanted to control your success, your finances as well. Somebody here just wanted to control every single thing in your life. This person is mad because you know this and you don't trust them. This person is also mad because this backfire in, involves them. Uh, it, it, it's like this backfire is making them lose finances. Okay, this person, it's like their money is low, okay, or it's about to be. There's some sort of financial karma attached to this backfire because somebody here was trying to block your finances, your creativity. Somebody here was trying to attack your work, how you make money, and this shit has backfired. So this person is like losing their job, losing their stability. Money is coming in very slow for this person. They're very depressed. Somebody here could be a Virgo that was attacking y'all. I'm getting Virgo, Aquarius, Leo energy. Very significant here now. Yeah, double Leo here. Okay, double Leo, Scorpio, uh, Virgo, Aquarius. But these people are mad because this shit is not working. The work hard. Somebody here could have thought that they was going to have some sort of abundance. You know, that was the plan. Like they was going to gain something. Um, out of actually blocking you, stopping your success and attacking you. But you're independent. You know what I'm saying? You're independent. You're moving forward freely. Everything working out in your favor. And these people are watching you. They're watching you and they're seeing that. They're watching you and seeing how comfortable you are. Somebody feels like you were supposed to be heartbroken and sad during this time. Or you were supposed to be like gone by now. Okay? But these people are watching you and seeing that you're comfortable. You're happy. You're not heartbroken. Your intuition is definitely heightened. You trust your intuition. You can't be finessed. You can't be tricked. You can't be fooled. You can't be bamboozled. You can't be gaslit. Like somebody here wanted to gaslight you. Yeah, somebody here could have a Sagittarius moon. This person is feeling blocked. They feeling stuck during this time. This is somebody that may also ghost you if they haven't already. So if you was talking to this person, they may just be acting funny, not checking on you, ghosting you, shit like that. Because they're guilty. They're guilty and they're nervous and they know that ain't shit moving for them in their life. Ain't nothing growing for them. But this is somebody that want to spin the block. They want to come towards you. There's a queen of wands in the reverse that wants to come towards you as well. Hierophant reverse. This person could be a Sagittarius or Taurus. They could have that in their chart. But you moving forward freely. It's like somebody here wants to come towards you and, and, and gaslight you. Make you feel like what you know to be true isn't true. Like it's just your imagination. It was just my imagination running away with me. Somebody want to come in and like play mind games with you. Like, no, why would I? Yeah, somebody here don't want you to see the truth. Like, no, why would I? I would never do that. I would never hurt you. Like, no, me and you wasn't beefing. Why would I? No, no, it was it was so-and-so. Wasn't you arguing with so-and-so? Didn't you have problems with so-and-so? No, like, no, I love you. Like, bro, I've been going through shit over here too. Like, we all going through shit. You know, I got too much shit going on over here to be worried about you. I wasn't attacking you. <laughs> like, that's somebody playing to come towards you on some bullshit like that. Libra, you moving forward. This person know you moving forward. Whoever this is, they know you're avoiding them because they toxic as fuck. And now this person is heavily burdened and weighed down because you're moving forward the chariot. Yeah, this is bad news, okay? This is bad news for this person that their plan is not going to work. Again, with that restless energy, okay? We got rest and rejuvenate in the reverse. Now we got the four swords in the reverse, the um, ten of wands here, six of wands reverse, and the ten of swords. This person is now depressed. These people are now depressed because they feel defeated. They feel blocked. They, they feel like they can't finesse you. They can't come in and gaslight you. You know the truth. You standing in that truth. And can't nobody uh, get you to uh, second guess yourself. These people are mad because you know to avoid them. Yeah, somebody here is mad because you know to avoid them. Somebody here feels very foolish about the action that they took. They feel like they should have um, like more research on you. Or people that work together with these people feel like 
they should have looked into you more before doing something, before agreeing to something, because this shit is backfiring on everybody involved. Yeah, because you're a high priestess. Somebody here could have found that out later on, late in the game, after they already did what they did. Okay, but you showing up as a high priestess, Libra. Okay, you a seer is what I heard. You're a born seer. Some, some of you could have been a call born as well. All right, but these people are getting calm in here. Will of Fortune reverse, judgment in reverse, tower in reverse. Something here is going up in flames. Okay, somebody here could be having some sort of natural disaster as well. Somebody here could be lo losing a home, but it's a lot of shit that's going up in flames for all uh, these people here that was involved. Um, somebody here is going through an extreme tower moment. They're like, oh my god. Somebody here is like, oh my god. Okay, that earth energy in the reverse, that hierophant in the reverse energy is somebody's stability crashing down. Will of Fortune in the reverse, tower reverse, ten of cups reverse, judgment reverse, earth in the reverse, hierophant in the reverse. This is somebody that was very arrogant, that just wouldn't stop, wouldn't quit. They had to see you go down. This person was very much so in their ego, wanting to win at all costs, wouldn't stop at nothing. And now, you know, God's wrath is here. Judgment Day is upon your ops, your enemies. And I mean, these people are losing a lot of their stability, like a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like Libra, it's a lot of stability here for you, but it's like these people are now feeling disabled, okay? Like, these people are now feeling unstable. They feeling like everything is crashing down. Everything is coming down. But this is the wheel turning. You know, the tables have turned. This is justice. This is justice being served, Libra. Okay? I didn't even realize that 13 was here. Some of you could be born October 13th, October 3rd, October 11th, October 18th, October 6th, October 14th. Okay? October 4th, October 5th. But you went through some crazy rebirth some crazy transformation libra like you went through some sort of crazy transformation some sort of upgrade some sort of level up okay you have officially ascended transcended like you are like elevating rapidly like motherfuckers can't even keep up with you at this point like you just it's like you healing in your sleep you growing overnight it's something here about you growing rapidly like motherfuckers just can't keep up with you libra it's like what the fuck bro like that's how somebody feel i'm telling you the wheel is turning look how yo i just cut this deck look what we got libra will of fortune upright four wands like the wheel is turning in your favor all your dreams all your wishes are coming true some of you could be seeing a lot of ones during this time you could be seeing 11 11 111 i got chills all over my body as i'm saying this libra four of wands will of fortune wish fulfillment dreams coming true this is your good karma this is your justice the will is turning in your favor baby four of wands will of fortune I'm hearing, when did this happen? When did Libra get this strong? Okay, so somebody here could be asking that. For some of you, these people grew up with you. This could even be people in your family. This could be karmic family members. But these are people that have known you or they feel like they know you. A lot of these people feel like they don't know who you are now. They feel like they never knew you. Okay, somebody here is like, damn, you protected. Okay, judgment is always being called in your favor. Okay, you're super protected. These people are really fucking irritated and annoyed by your growth, by your protection, by your light. Your light are irritate. Your light is irritating their demons, okay? And they got a lot of them, okay? And you got a lot of light, okay, Libra? You just a ball of light, baby. There we go with that hierophant in the reverse again. Somebody here is pissed the fuck off. Wish fulfillment here for you, Libra. Four of Wands, Will of Fortune. This is the type of beautiful things that happen in your life. This is the type of luxury and wealth and abundance that you receive when you do the work. Okay, Libra, you did the inner work. And now somebody's crying. Somebody's crying. They're disappointed. They're in heavy regret. Strong Sagittarius. If you had a Sagittarius that you was connected to that did you wrong in the past, this person is overwhelmed right now. This person can't even control themselves. They're crying uncontrollably at the drop of a dime. This person is very emotional. This person is all fucked up in their head right now. Now on the swords, they can't believe this shit. They can't believe how everything is working out in your favor. They can't believe that they went up against you. Somebody here is also trying to understand why did they go oh why did they go up against you in the first place? Or why did they accept the bribe? Why did they get tricked into becoming your op? This person worked together with multiple people here and attacked you, Libra. There you are, Libra, showing up as the Empress again, okay? You're showing up as the Empress again. We got the Empress here twice, Libra. Look how you're showing up, baby. I'm going to put both Empresses up here, but you're showing up as the Empress here twice, Libra. And somebody here is like, why the fuck did I do this shit? Now that this shit is backfiring on this person, this person is trying to understand why did they do this. They know that all evil eyes are going blind. 
whatever they wished on you is not coming true. If anything is happening to them, okay? Like somebody here knows that all the evil eyes that they send you is going blind. Everything's being returned to sender. Libra, you got the Ten of Pentacles here, okay? Abundance is your birthright. Welcome to the soft life. Will of Fortune and the Upright, Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. There's some sort of abundance here that's coming in okay you're being showered with abundance okay peacock energy some of you may resonate with the peacock spirit somebody here can have a tattoo of a peacock feather or peacocks something significant about peacocks and, and eagles and owls okay you may resonate with those spirits <clears throat> what's up soul fan what's up soul drive somebody here is trying to send somebody in a false lover seven of swords to the king of cups somebody here wants to profess their love for you but this is a false person. This is somebody that also worked together with this Sagittarius. Or they worked together with these people that was working against you. Libra, it's not going to work. You're standing your ground. <laughs> like, you too intelligent. Like, these people really need to just give it up. For real. You showing up as the queen of sports. Like, this is somebody that's extremely intelligent. You're very sharp. Okay? That's that air energy. Okay? That cerebral energy. Like, Libra, you an air sign. I don't even understand why people try to get over on air signs. Okay, especially air signs that are in the upright, that are in the um, empress, emperor energy. It's very hard to get over on somebody like you. You're too sharp, very keen, very intelligent. Yeah, strength in the reverse. This person knows this. You know, somebody here is angry because you're sharp. Somebody is angry because you're smart. Somebody here is angry because you're intelligent, because you're intuitive, because you're protected. Somebody here knows that you're a leader. Somebody here is like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, Ace of Wands here. You, you move at the own beat of your drum, okay? You move to the beat of your own drum, all right? Somebody here wanted to control your life. They wanted you to move to the beat of their drum. No, Libra. You move on your own time. You do shit on your own time. You move to the to the beat of your own drum is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you have a new beginning here. Ace of Wands then came out again. Ace of Wands was in the first deck that we pulled from. And now it's here again in this deck, Ace of Wands. Yeah, you have a new beginning, Libra. Yeah, you've made a decision to sever ties with people to close out cycles. I can't make it up. Ace of Wands, two of swords, the world. This is what your intuition is telling you to do. You trust your intuition. You're too smart. The hermit. You could be separating yourself during this time, okay? Some of you could be practicing solitude, isolating, or you being called to. Your intuition is telling you to do this, but you're showing up as a seer, a wise soul, okay? Again, I told you somebody feels like you're a gatekeeper. Somebody here feels like you have the key to life or some sort of secret knowledge, some sort of sacred ancient wisdom, but Libra, high priestess and hermit, that's what you are, okay? Somebody here is like really fucked up in their head over this shit. You could have Pisces or Virgo placements in your chart for some of you. But you the shit, man. You the truth. And somebody here is like, damn, Libra knows that I'm a liar. Libra knows that I was doing spell work. Libra knows that I'm an op. Yeah, the moon card and the ace of swords in the reverse. Somebody here is a liar. Somebody here has been also uh, projecting, um, you know, as far as like some sort of word magic, okay? Somebody here has been using a lot of word magic and uh, that shit is happening to them and they're unhappy. Somebody here don't want you to be at peace. They don't want you to be happy. This is somebody from your past. This is people from your past that are very bitter. Somebody here could have been doing this as well because you cut them off. And they've been secretly holding a grudge against you ever since you stopped being their friend or you broke up with them, whatever. You know, somebody here has been stuck on you. They haven't been able to get over on you. I mean, they haven't been able to get over on you, but they haven't been able to get over you, okay? This is somebody that's heavily burdened and weighed down, all in their feelings here and acting like a, a fucking fool, okay? Somebody here has been very immature. Somebody here wants to reach out to you. You could be receiving communication from somebody during this time that's wanting to make you an offer. This person wants to um, come visit you. It's a fuck no. Somebody here is a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. This person could be asking you questions about your home or asking you about uh, coming to see you or asking to hang out. No, uh -uh. this person is working together with a King of Swords in the reverse. So be mindful of a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, a Leo, an Aquarius, a Taurus, an Aries. Like you need to be careful with these people. Libra, with, with you showing up as a high priestess, I feel like you already know this. You know who to trust. You know who not to trust. A lot of y'all don't trust nobody from your damn past. Um, but you know exactly who to trust, who not to trust. You're not fucking with people here. Somebody here is mad because you're keeping your options open as well. Somebody here wants you to jump the gun and invest in the wrong lover. But you're keeping your options open. Yeah, somebody here has just been doing a lot of spell work. 
heavy manipulation, a lot of spell work, wanting you to be fooled, wanting you to be confused, wanting you to not know which way to go, what to do. You know, somebody here don't want you to have no direction. You know, somebody here wants you to feel lost. Um, there's a queen of pentacles in the reverse that's doing spell work on you as well. This shit is going to backfire on them horribly if it hasn't already. This person could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Gemini. But this is somebody that's very money hungry, okay? Very manipulative, doing a lot of spell work. This shit is going to backfire on this person. Yeah, this person is going to be very heartbroken. They could have already backfired and they're heartbroken. This is somebody that needs, they're very needy. This is somebody that needs some sort of assistance. They need money. They need help. Somebody here sees that you're a star and they're jealous of you. Whoever this is, they're watching you a lot during this time. They're gossiping with other people about your destiny, about your energy, about you being in the star energy. Somebody here feels like you're a healer and they're jealous of that. Somebody here is very envious of your light. They're very envious of your path, your destiny, your calling. This is somebody that may also want to be intimate with you. And this could be the same sex. Whoever this is, this person could be of the same sex, all right? This person think that you don't know how they feel about you or they think that you don't know that you can't see through them. But you see through them, I feel like you just play along. But Libra, some of you, you're being called not to play along anymore. You need to cut this person off, okay? You need to cut whoever this is off. Stop playing along, you know, stop playing stupid. Just cut them off. <laughs> just cut them off. You know, some of you got a fake ass friend around you, but this person wants to be intimate with you. This is the same sex. Somebody here is in love with you. This person is an earth sign, a Sagittarius. They could be an earth sign, a Sagittarius, a Cancer. Somebody with that in their chart. This person's or a Gemini. This is the same sex. This person's in love with you. For some of you, you got a friend. A, a, a ex friend that's that sign that's been attacking you as well and they could be mad because they wanted to be more than friends with you and either you're not interested in them you don't go that way okay or even if you do you just wasn't interested in them you didn't want to take it there with them and they got really upset about that i'm also hearing gemini yeah i said gemini already this person could be a gemini a pisces a capricorn a sagittarius whoever this is they took it real personal that you didn't want to be with them, that you didn't want to be more than friends. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Sagittarius, Energy, Significant, and Capricorn. But y'all know who that is. I also just heard Leo. Yeah, somebody here is mad. Feeling defeated. Six of Wands in the reverse. Feeling exposed. The moon in the reverse. Somebody here is, is, is upset. Somebody here could also be sick. I keep getting that message that somebody's sick. Somebody's karma is for their health to fail. Like, somebody's karma is for their health to, to fail. Like, somebody's karma is definitely for them to be in bad health. Their finances is in bad health, but they're also in bad health physically and mentally. Spirit says somebody here is going to have a mental breakdown. This is the, this is the um, mental magic backfiring. Somebody here is going to have a mental breakdown. Due to some sort of mental magic backfiring on them. Somebody here wants to come towards you and work together with you because they're going through a tile moment. It's a no. Somebody here knows that their evil eye and their attacks have been being sent back to them. It's being sent back to them. Somebody here knows that you're not heartbroken. Somebody here has been projecting a lot of negative energy to you. Somebody here wants you to be suicidal as well as what I'm hearing. This person could be feeling suicidal during this time. That's that backfire. But somebody here wants you to be sad, wants you to be suicidal, wants you to be heartbroken, wants you to feel low. You're like, hell no, I'm good over here. I'm chilling. Yeah, you the queen of cups, Libra. You got a lot of love in your heart. You full of love. You have love surrounding you. Purple could be somebody's favorite color. Okay, somebody here may resonate with Frida Kahlo or somebody here could be a fan of Frida Kahlo's. But it's like you got this purple aura. You got this purple, beautiful energy around you, Libra. You somebody that's royal, okay? When you, when I think of purple, I think of royalty. I think of, uh, yeah, royalty, royal. You're royal. You come from a royal bloodline. You have like this radiant energy. You're very regal. You have regal energy. You have a radiant spirit. Yeah, you're very independent, nine of pentacles. You could have Virgo in your chart for some of you, or you could have strong Virgo placements. You resonate with the sign of Virgo, but you very independent, Libra. And again, will of fortune. Will of fortune keep coming out, and damn it, there you go, Libra, right behind the will of fortune. 
We got the will of fortune to the justice. Your justice is for everything to be working out in your favor. Get ready, Libra. You are in the season of consecutive wins. I'm hearing back-to-back -back wins, consecutive wins. I'm hearing that everything is going to be going in your favor. Like, you're just going to keep winning. You can't lose, Libra. You can't lose. This is your time. This is your time to shine, Libra. You deserve to shine. Okay? Back-to-back -back consecutive wins. Win after win after win after win. I'm hearing that song. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind. I can never get enough. Okay? Like, Libra, you are being cheered on. You're being celebrated. Even though you got people that's not happy for you, you also have people that want to see you win. Libra, you have people that really do fuck with you, that want to see you happy. They want to see you win. I want to see you smile. Okay, I'm hearing that song. Who's that? Just want to see you smile. G unit, right? <laughs> okay, just G, G, G unit. Shout out to 50, man. We love 50. I mean, I know I do. But something significant about you smiling, okay? You have people that do want to see you smile. Even though you got a lot of people that's hating on you, you have people that's rooting for you as well that want to see you smile. Somebody here knows that judgment is being called. Justice is being ruled in your favor. This is your season of celebration, Libra. I can't make it up. Judgment with the three of cups right behind it, Libra. This is your time, baby. This your time, sugar snaps. You made the right choices here, Libra. And for those of you that have false lovers coming towards you, oh my God, you are being celebrated and rewarded for not jumping the gun and choosing a false lover here. You not being codependent is what saved your ass, okay? For some of you, what saved your ass is you not being codependent. Because had you still been in some sort of codependent energy, Libra, this season, this abundance, this victory and success that you have, this shit would have been delayed for sure. All of this would have been delayed. Your Ten of Pentacles would have been in the reverse had you jumped the gun and, and took a past lover back or was codependent and took a past lover back. Okay, like you out with the old and with the new. You're not reconciling with no damn body. And these motherfuckers know that and they mad. Um, they mad about that shit, Libra. Somebody here mad that you ain't reconciling with no damn body. Uh, let's get you some fortune oracles, Libra. You knew they was coming. Shit, you knew they was coming. <laughs> let's get y'all some fortune oracles. Libra. Libra. Libra, let me get two more spirit, Libra, yeah, somebody here don't want you to close out a cycle, the world came out in the reverse, somebody here saying that you two have unfinished business, it's like, hell no, nah, no the fuck we don't, the fuck, I don't know who told you that, but this cycle has closed, baby, okay, some of you could be 36 years old, 63, somebody here could be 22, somebody here could be 24, okay, 33, some of you definitely mastered yourself, master number 33. Somebody here could be a master number, angel number. Some of you could be born October 18th, October 9th, October 11th. Some of you could be seeing 11, 22, 1, 1, 1, 11, 11, 2, 2, 2. If you're seeing a lot of ones or twos, Libra, this message is definitely for you, okay? But somebody here definitely born October 11th, October 18th, October 10th, October 9th, October 2nd, October 13th, October uh, 12th, if I didn't say that already. Somebody here could be a life path number two, one, three, nine, eight, seven, okay? Some of you could be seeing angel numbers like that as well in chronological order, whether ascending or descending, nine, eight, seven, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, three, two, one, twelve, thirty-four. 1, 12, 34, okay? Some of y'all definitely seeing 11, 22, 11, 11, 1, 11, 2, 2, 2. You could be seeing a lot of ones, a lot of twos for sure some of you seeing 818 as well we got 1818 right here damn we got 1818 right here wow okay we got 1818 right here with the lovers in the moon some of y'all definitely seeing angel number 1818 818 888 that's your abundance that's coming in libra all right there are two paths ahead be true to yourself libra lovers you got choices to make make the wise choices libra you know what choice to make you've been making wise choices don't bitch up now. Don't fuck up now, Libra. Don't wait until the, the very top. Don't don't get to the top of the mountain to, to choose some dumb shit, Libra, okay? But be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. You're reaching the mountaintops, Libra. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, okay? You definitely protected. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. God is going to bless you in a way where you could bless the world, where you could bless others. You are a healer of all ages. You are a blessing to others. Give back, okay? Once you receive, 
this abundance. Once you're in this season of infinite abundance, make sure that you give back to those of those that are deserving, okay? Give back to those that are deserving. God is going to let you know who you need to help, who you need to give back to. But your ops is going to be trying to get you to give to them as well. And God said you ain't helping them. He will strip you. He will strip you. He will cut you down if you help any of these people, okay? But it says success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Be generous flowers. Some of you, your favorite color could be pink. Somebody here loves sunflowers. Somebody here could love tiger lilies or um, violets. I'm also hearing purple roses or pink roses, hot pink roses. Okay, you could be buying yourself flowers. You could be putting together a bouquet. Something significant about sunflowers and roses together. That's so funny because that's like my favorite... Um, that's like my favorite bouquet that I like to make for myself. I love sunflowers and roses together. Red roses. Red roses and sunflowers together. Perfect. Perfect blend. But some of you could be buying flowers. Somebody here could be coming in trying to buy you flowers. Be mindful of somebody coming towards you with flowers. That's a false person. Okay. But yeah, Libra, this was your message today. All right. You doing good, Libra. You doing real good. You done showed up as the Empress goddamn it like three, four, five times in this message. Libra, you the shit, baby. Okay, and you know that. Let's get you uh, some affirmations real quick to close this out. Um, I'm not going to read the whole book and shit like that. I'm just going to give y'all the affirmations and the manifestation enhancers. Spirit, can I get some affirmations for Libra? Let me get some affirmations for Libra, please, and thank you. Told you 33 was significant. 33, you mastered yourself. 33, you a master. Some of you could be 33 years old as well. Somebody here could be, um, come from a Masonic bloodline, okay? Somebody here could be an Eastern star, all right? Some of you could be in a sorority or fraternity. But you've mastered yourself, Libra. You got sacred knowledge. You do got ancient wisdom. You do have secret, sacred knowledge. You do. Yeah, you're showing up as the witch. Somebody here could be 41 years old, 33 years old, 36, 29, 30. Some of you could be 36. Yeah, I said that already, I think. Yeah, you got 36, 36 here. Again, you got repeated numbers. 36, 36, 18, 18, 29, 29, 33, 33, 41, 14. Some of you could be seeing um, mirrored numbers as well. 41, 14, 14, 41, 36, 63, okay, 18, 81. Somebody here could have been born in 81 as well. 83, 93, 72. All right, Libra. It says, find those who inspire you to bloom. Grow together. Community, connection, reciprocation. Some of you are meeting members of your soul tribe. That's a beautiful thing. You finding those that inspire you and you're going to elevate and grow and bloom with those people. Those are your people, Libra. Your soul family, your soul tribe. You're connecting with your soul fam during this time. You're meeting members of your soul tribe. <coughs> That's a beautiful thing. Some of you may resonate with angel number 333. Okay, 33. It says community, connection, reciprocation, 333. Grow together. Your affirmation for today is I am worthy of people who nourish me. Okay, Libra? I am worthy of people who nourish me. All right? And your manifestation enhancer says... Write about the kind of friend or lover you desire to have in your life. They are out there, so call them in. Take chances. Write out 10 affirmations about how worthy you are of being treated with respect, support, and loving kindness. Invite it in. Close your eyes and place your hand on your heart. Imagine it opening and visualize warm pink light entering you. Feel it. Oh, and be sure to love yourself the same way you expect others to love you. All right, 29. It says sometimes you will break before you bloom. 29 breaking into bloom time liberation and understanding all right this is one that we don't pull often libra so we got some new energy here 29 let's see what that says the rosebud time liberation and understanding again something significant about roses and flowers all right the rosebud time liberation and understanding I'm actually going to read this one because we don't we don't always pull this one. All right, Libra. But the affirmation says the third eye, my my third eye is awakened and my heart is open. All right, Libra. It says my third eye is awakened and my heart is open. Temperance. The red rose has paid you a visit. She is your ally and comes with the gift of grace and patience. She knows what it's like to think the world is ending and then have it begin again to feel trapped. 
for the bud must break open before it can bloom. It can be painful and seem long, but you must learn this is a path to liberation. This card has an energy of awakening, self-liberation, and patience. The red rose has mastered these and wants to help you learn them as well. It can be a positive omen that there is something you will soon understand. Something that has been troubling your mind and heart. Something that you have been trying to figure out, get past, or comprehend. Notice the hourglass and the artwork. They are on both sides of her. Remember. No, they are on both sides of her, reminding her that time itself is a necessary ingredient in the process of growth and awakening, just as water is. This card can also mean that the red rose has a message for you, that you are or have been in a struggle, but need to trust that it will end up leading you to more freedom and magic. The red rose is your friend and reassures you that sometimes you will break before you bloom. You are on the path of setting yourself free from something. This could be within you, your career, creativity, healing, or your dreams. Notice how the red rose blossoms as an extension of your third eye. Okay, y'all see it? Okay, these are the two hourglasses on the side. And this red rose is blooming from her third eye. The rose has an eye open in the middle of it. Y'all see that? Very beautiful, okay? It says, yeah, notice how the red rose blossoms as an extension of your third eye. Your ultimate spiritual center connecting with your, connecting with, connecting you, excuse me, connecting you with the quantum realm. The spirit of the rose is within you. You have the power of understanding what you're meant to. You feel another rose blossoming from your heart, resulting from the awakening of your own self-love during this process. With third eye intuition and the power of your heart, you are sure to free yourself from your struggle. Those are the places that need to be opened at this time. As they say, energy goes where attention flows. I said that the other day too. Like you give energy what you give your attention to. You give life what you give your attention to. 5111 on the clock as I say that. Again with those ones. 1111, 111. All right. But your manifestation enhancer says specific guided meditations and crystals that you endow with this energy can assist you in activating your third eye and heart. You will need to set the intention for them to open. Place your hand on your heart throughout the day and tap on your third eye a few times as if awakening it. When meditating, place one hand on your heart and one finger of the other on your third eye. All right, Libra, speaking of third eye, look at this card. All right, we got the seeker. You pull this card a lot, Libra. I ain't going to front. 36, you're a seeker, Libra, okay? You're a seeker. Your third eye is activated. It's booming. It's beaming. Again, with that purple energy, some of you definitely... Uh, resonate with that purple, that royal energy, okay, that regal energy. Purple could be your favorite color. Somebody here could have purple nail polish on, purple eyeshadow, okay? Somebody here could even dye their hair purple, all right? But you are a seeker. It says, all seeing eyes, spirit, and release, all right? Seeker, all seeing eyes, spirit, and release. Your affirmation says, I surrender to the divine, all right? Your manifestation enhancer says, it would be wise to continue practicing the release of yourself to spirit. The best way to activate your third eye is to get your mind out of the way. Let yourself get carried away within the magic of every present moment. Try to try to get through a whole day of not judging, forcing, or overanalyzing anything. If you pay attention, you will be surprised by how much you do. Spirit will rush in if only had the room to. All right? Surrender, Libra. 41. I wasn't always like this, you know. I had to create who I am. The witch. Creatrix, Lotus Flower, and Free Will. Lotus Flower Bomb. Okay, somebody here may love that song. That's by Wale, right? Um, I used to think Wale was a Libra, but I think he's actually a Virgo. I think he's on a cusp of Virgo Libra. Some of you could be like a Virgo Libra cusp as well. All right, or you could be dealing with someone that is. Um, but Lotus Flower Bomb, I'm hearing that song by Wale. Somebody here may also love to wear Flower Bomb perfume by Victor and Roth. Somebody here, last name could be Roth. Uh, somebody here, uh, name could be Victor. Somebody here could be dealing with somebody named Victor. Okay, somebody here, initials could be V or R. Okay, VR. All right, but the witch, creatrix, lotus flower, and free will. Okay, 41, the witch, creatrix, lotus flower, and free will. Lotus flower bomb. Fly, fly. All right. Creatrix, Lotus Flower, Hermit, and Free Will. Again, with that Virgo energy. 
It says the hermit right here. It don't say it on the card, but it say it here in the book. The hermit. Hermit is Virgo energy. Free will. Okay? You are a hermit. You are a hermitess. You are a wise soul. You are a seer. You have free will. You are a creatrix. You are a witch. Your affirmation says, I am a powerful creator and alchemize who I am. Libra, you are an alchemist. Okay? I am a powerful creator and alchemize who I am. All right? Woo! I love that. Your manifestation enhancer says, you have the power of the witch at this time. Write down the spells you wish to cast upon your life and destiny. Light a candle and write five important intentions you would like to set for yourself, your life, the world, and or your loved ones. Okay, Libra, you are a creatrix. Okay, you create the own your own reality. Okay, you are creating your own reality, Libra. You are an alchemist. You are able to alchemize energy and alchemize your life creatrix the witch you create who you are you create the reality that you're living in libra you are fucking powerful bro you are so powerful sis i love you guys libra this was your message for today happy thursday live your best fucking life live it up go dance go smile go make somebody smile go do something nice for a stranger i love you libra continue to take care of yourself peace